In this video, I will tell you how to properly install the tip. It seems nothing complicated, but there are some nuances that can affect the further processing of the stone. It is important that the abrasive wheel is strictly in the center. If it is crookedly established, blows on the stone will be felt. This will lead to cracks in the product. Due to cracks, the sculpture at the final stage of manufacturing may fall apart. Connect the tip to the drill. Let's check how the abrasive wheel will work without additional alignment. Check without water supply. Shirley drew attention to a small knock in contact with the stone. This is due to the fact that the abrasive wheel is not clearly installed in the center. The abrasive wheel is tilted to one side and hits this side on the stone, while the other side does not touch the stone. It is not easy to see and understand in which direction the abrasive wheel is tilted, but there is an easy way. We take a felt tip pen and slightly lean against the abrasive wheel. Traces of a felt tip pen will appear on the wheel. The paint will be on the side in which the diamond wheel is tilted. To align the abrasive wheel, you need to press on the side where there was a stain of paint. The main thing here is not to overdo it, so as not to bend in the other direction. You can press with a finger or other object. Now once again we touch the felt tip pen with a diamond wheel. We see that there are more spots from the felt tip pen. This means that the wheel is smoother. From my own experience I will say that it is more pleasant to work with such a tool. Stone processing is more accurate and better. It is also important that the tip of the drill is smear. How to disassemble and lubricate soon there will be a new video. Subscribe not to miss. Your likes are the best thanks and support for me. Write questions and snakes that you have. I will answer with pleasure.